Hi, y'all. I'm Melissa Ushakov from the Plant Stage, and today I wanted to share a little bit about how we use scope labels at GitLab to help us manage our backlog. And let me share my screen. So scope labels are a fairly unique concept to GitLab in that they are mutually exclusive labels. So it's a set where one can't be more than one can't be applied at the same time to an issue, uh, Epic or MR. You can think of them almost like a single setup dropdown but for labels. Um, so here you see an example, and I'll walk you through a couple of use cases of uh, where we use them. If you've interacted with our public issue tracker, you've seen that we use one project for the most part where we have all our issues and all of our teams work out of that single project. As you can imagine, uh, that can get a little bit complicated to understand whose issue is whose, and that's where scope labels come in and help us. So what we've done is that we've set up one scope label, and you can see they look like a little pill uh, per team. And since only one of them, one of the items that belongs to group can be applied at once to an issue, it makes it really clear who an issue belongs to. Uh, if an issue has group code review, that's their team. If it has good compliance, that, that seems issue. And it also gives us the ability to do interesting things like here, I've segmented this list out to only include the issues that are have the label group product planning. So the PM for this group can very easily find the issues that pertain to them. And of course, add more filtering as needed to find and narrow down that list. Uh, you can also use labels throughout the experience. So for example, to narrow down a roadmap, uh, create a board. Uh, it just gives you a really easy way to filter down in the scenario like ours where all our issues live in the same project. Uh, but this can be also helpful in a couple of other scenarios that I'll show you. The next one being the workflow. So a lot of times open and closed are not really enough to describe where in the, in the workflow a specific item is. And that's where scope labels to the note workflows come in. So here you can see uh, we've defined a set of different states and created labels that go along with it. I'll include a link to this in the description, but in case you need inspiration, but here you see in our handbook, our product development flow. So it's a set of steps that work must go through in order to be complete. And each of the steps has a label that goes along with it. And we've set up these labels at the group level, both for groups and um, workflows so that all projects underneath inherit them and it makes it really easy to manage. Um, so by having workflows, uh, scope labels, you can do a couple of interesting things. So just like I showed you, you could filter um, throughout the experience for things that are in specific states. But you can also do something like this where you can create uh, columns on a board to signify the different states. Uh, this specific board is a board for uh, delivery. So it's an abbreviated version where we're only looking at things that are in planning breakdown close to being ready for the team and you can see them going through the life cycle as if you're working collaboratively, you can move these across and it will change the workflow. And it really gives you that nice Kanban view of what a team's working on. There's also another version of this that is more for the discovery workflow states. Um, so if you're running dual track agile, you can have two different boards, one for your discovery. So where you're refining solution validation, problem validation, and then here where it's more delivery focused. Another use case that I'll walk through, but I won't show you the screen for privacy reasons is around severity. Um, so severity is another scope label that we use um, throughout the experience of, of our issue tracker, where for security and um, bugs, you can apply a severity label. So you can define your own policy about what's step one, two, three, four. That's what we've done. Each of them has a different SLA in a different way that it should be managed. So what we do is for bugs and security issues, they're all get assigned a severity. Again, they're mutually exclusive. So we're able to always basically ensure that issues have the appropriate um, information on them. 
And also we can quickly find severity one issues, for example, which we wanna make sure we always resolve immediately. Uh, so hopefully that was helpful and leave a comment and I hope you start using scope labels.